working real well. Today I'm going to be building out, out some frames. Um, I bought a new Bee Castle Hive a few days ago and it came with 40 frames. So I'm going to show you as a new beekeeper how to put those together. A lot of people online will show you how to do uh, jigs that will build 40 at a time. That's not what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to do it very simply. If you've only got 40 to build in a year or you know uh, you don't build all that many, you really don't need a jig unless it's something you just wanna do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm also gonna show you how to put some wax on it so that the bees will um, just be able to jump on the frame and use it. There's wax that's already on these, but um, the more you put on it, uh, the more the bees will not have to make it themselves and then get a jump start on making honey. So uh, let's do some of these frames boxes that I put together in a different video, but uh, you can see I've already made some of the frames up, uh, so I think I've got uh, seven or eight already made here. Uh, this is a 10 frame box, and I'm really just going to lay these out. You, can, you don't have to do it a certain way, but I always put the, uh, you know, the top bar here. Uh, you're going to need two sides. You need the bottom as well, and then you're going to have the foundation. So I'm going to show you how to put those together. All right, well, one of the keys that I believe is to putting these frames together is to use really good glue. Uh, I like Tight Bond 3, it's waterproof. Um, when, you, when you use these, this is, uh, of course, Bee Castle frames. I like the Bee Castle frames. They, uh, they appear to be much sturdier than some of the other frames I've seen. Um, I've heard a lot of other people talk about Man Lake frames, and I'm sure they're good, but uh, I'll vouch for Bee Castle. These fit together really well. What you wanna do is put, a good amount of glue right inside of the little shape here, the U shape at the top. You're going to take your frame, your top rail here, and just simply insert that rail right into it. Most of the time you don't even need uh, a hammer or anything like that, but if you do, you can use that. If, just use it lightly. Uh, put your glue inside those frames really well, and listen, you, you can't have enough glue. Uh, even if it's running down the side, I'll show you what to do with it, but make sure you get glue on all the sides and then insert it on the other. Now, what I like to do is use a, you know, these frames come with a little, a little nail that you can use. I like to use an, an air gun, a nail gun. So you're going to put two right in the top. And the nail really is not to hold it. The nail is to hold it while it's gluing. Uh, I think a lot of people, what I've learned is uh, don't trust the nail that's in there. You really want as much glue as possible and use the nail to make sure that it's basically helping you give more time for the frame to glue. Now, if the glue starts to run, just simply run it back towards the joints, cover that joint and glue, okay? It's running all down the side here. Just take that glue and run it right back down to the joint and coat your joints in that. All right, I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and just basically coat the inside. We'll start at the top, let it run down. Coat the bottom really well with glue. Even if it runs down, that's perfectly fine. Make sure that the, uh, the side that's supposed to accept the foundation is always toward the inside of the frame. So that's gonna go down. I'm just gonna push these into place here. All right, a little tough. Push the other side, and if the glue oozes out, just push it right up on top. Make sure that it's really all over that joint. Now, I'm gonna tap this just to make sure it's in place good. Okay, I'm gonna put one nail, or my, in this case, it's a staple, in the bottom, just because it's not enough room, you don't wanna split it. Okay. Flip it around, do the same thing, okay. All right, so that should be good. I'm gonna turn the frame upside down like this, take the foundation. This is plastic foundation that's food grade that I really like it. I'm gonna put it in the bottom, the, uh, put it in the top rail first and then I'm just gonna slide it into place all the way across. As soon as it hits the rail, it should accept it. And then your frame is, it's in place, works well. Now, um, if you're making a lot of these, I always go sit them upside down so the glue can kind of run down to the joints and dry for a period of time. But 
Um, I'm also gonna show you how to wax these. So that's another one down. Doesn't take too long whatsoever and you'll have 40 of them knocked out or however many you have. But now I'm gonna show what you how I like to wax to do them. Is, uh, I buy some extra wax if you don't have enough from the year before, and I don't because I'm a new beekeeper. I've got a little bit of wax, but not much. Uh, and that's from one of the buddies that helps me. Uh, he gave me some old frames, but just simply bought some wax online. It's pretty cheap. You can take this, dump it in there. These are one ounce bars. You can buy it in different sizes. But uh, what I did was simply found a hot plate and, uh, and a little pot that you can ruin basically and we're going to let this warm up get it down to where i can just simply apply it to the frames okay well once you've got this heated up i'm simply going to take one of the frames out of the box i've laid it here kind of at an angle so it will run down start at the top of the frame start at the top of the frame and just let it run down do both sides of it pretty good you can, you can also put it on the top of the frame itself okay hasn't gotten totally hot just yet, but put extra wax on here. Bees will really utilize that when they start using this frame. Again, there's already some wax on it, but the more wax you apply to it, the less they've got to make. And they can spend their time, obviously, on going to get the nectar and everything else that they need to do in order to produce some honey for you. So. Um, the wax is really inexpensive and it's just down to doing a little bit of extra to make sure that your bees accept those frames a little bit easier. You don't have to put too, too much, but uh, you can see that one side's already showing a little bit of glare there. Just flip it over because it dries almost immediately. Do the same thing. Again, it doesn't hurt to put it on your, on your frame. Foundation's really where you're wanting to put it, but it smells great. I've got some old honeycomb in here that I melted down that uh, almost smells like a, a brownie, <laughs> a honey brownie. It smells incredible, really. So once that's put on, just move to the next frame keep applying it just like this but uh, I always like to put and I'm learning this but I always put, like to put a lot more at the top obviously because they're going to start at the top generally and work their way down drawing it out that shows you real quickly how you can coat a frame that frame's ready to go just put that in place and you just coat them, start coating the next one, same way. You can see in here, it's just uh, melting a little bit of wax. Easy to do. Just don't burn yourself or splash the wax on you and you'll be okay. Just like that, you got some extra waxed frames. The bees are really light. Flip that one over. You can see that coating on it. No, there's no exact way to do this other than just getting some extra wax on it. Uh, but I, I do think that the glue holding the frames together is extremely important. It is not the nail. In fact, if you can go back and put a little bit more glue over the top of your nails, that's fine to do as well. Uh, I just had a frame failure last year. And if you think about it, if you got a frame, a deep frame full of brood that is about ready to hatch, each side of that frame is gonna have what I understand is about 4,000 cell capacity. Now, they might not fill out all that as brood, but if you had 3,000 on each side, that's 6,000 bees. If you have a frame failure, then you lose those 6,000 bees, you know, not quite a package, but a lot of bees that you don't want to lose. So um, it's a great way to build frames pretty quickly. They're very easy. 
especially if you don't have many to build. And then this is a great way to do wax. So, all right, hope you enjoyed uh, and uh, good luck putting frames together. It's really easy to do for a beginning beekeeper. And then make sure you put some extra wax on it, simple to do. You'll ruin a pot and a brush in the process, but you can always keep that pot and brush and just keep using it each season. Uh, put it on your boxes, put it on your frames and the bees will appreciate it. Okay, see you next time.